Nita here with Heroes Martin Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's really good to have you. In today's lesson, um, we're going to be talking about half past. Have you ever heard someone say, oh, it's half past five or half past nine? You're probably like, what is half past? What are you talking about? So today we're going to try and clarify some of that. Um, if you have your workbook, we're in the 29th week, the third day. So that's where we are. Let's go ahead and open up with the word of prayer. We'll also recite our morality creed and then we'll get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and act what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master boss and savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe that the Bible is inspired by the spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights and wrongs. I look to the spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thoughts, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Great work. So we're talking about half past today. And just to kind of give you a little bit of, um, I don't know, introduction to half past. <clears throat> half past is used whenever it's literally half past an hour. So in yesterday's class, we talked about um, o'clock. Or actually, maybe it was two days ago. We talked about o'clock. We talked about oh, it's you know one o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's three o'clock, and we know that between each of the hours, between you know one o'clock and two o'clock, there are sixty minutes that must go around, uh, or when it must elapse. And so after sixty minutes, you're on to a new hour. So from one o'clock to two o'clock, sixty minutes. From two o'clock to three o'clock, is sixty minutes. Each, and I did not say this in that class, but you should know, each minute has 60 seconds, if you didn't know that. But today we're talking about how um, you can go from 12 o'clock and not necessarily go all the way to one o'clock, but what about if you're at the halfway point? What about instead of being from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, what if not a full 60 minutes have gone by? What if only 30 minutes have gone by? Well, if only 30 minutes have gone by, then we call that half past. You say, what time is it? Some people will say, well, it's 1230. That's okay. Other people may say it's half past 12. Why is it half past 12? Because here's 12 o'clock. We talked about this two days ago, 12 o'clock. The hour hand and the minute hand are on the 12, so it's 12 o'clock. <clears throat> here's one o'clock when this hour Excuse me, when this minute hand goes all the way around. Do, 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 do. When the minute hand goes all the way around, and the hour hand is not going around like that, but when the minute hand goes all the way around, we call that one o'clock. Say, oh, that's one o'clock. Okay. So it's gone from 12 o'clock to one o'clock. But what happens if instead of going from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, one full hour, what happens if it only it uh it's only been 30 minutes so here we have 12 30. so it's not a full 60 minutes that have elapsed but it's only been 30 minutes we call that 12 30. 12 30. so um 12 30. 30 minutes have gone by we call it half past you say it's half past 12 it's 12 30. um what else do i want to talk about here if you Continue with this minute hand if I can keep the hour hand from moving if the minute hand continues to move and goes all the way 30 minutes uh, later, it'll be one o'clock, right? This would say one o'clock and then 30 minutes after one o'clock We'd be back in the same situation of half past uh -huh. And so now instead of half past 12 It would be half past one or you could say 1 30 one thirty, half past twelve. So, um, so just some things to think about. Um, between 
each from 12 to one o'clock is one hour. We talked about that. Between any two hours is one full 60 minutes. Between each minute is 60 seconds. You can find all this content in your workbook. So I just want to give you a display of what half past looks like. You just go 30 minutes, half past the hour. So if I move this hand here to three, what time would this be? 3.30, exactly. Or you could say half past three. I don't have my pen to show the digital time, but that would be a three. 3.30, 3.30, half, halfway past three o'clock. And it's halfway because um, if there's if there are 60 minutes in an hour, half of 60 is 30, half past. Okay, I, I trust you um, understand, understand what half past is with that demonstration. Once again, if you have your own cardboard or um, clock or any kind of object or, you know, any kind of clock that you can play with, even if it's a, a real clock, you can just have mom or daddy help you manipulate it so that you're able to appreciate the time and kind of see how, how things work just from a personal hands-on experience that usually helps my toddler as well. Um, well. That's all I have for you today. Please don't forget to complete your exercise in your workbook. It asks you to write the matching digital time and it also um, says finish writing the time for each clock. So you have to finish writing the time for um, each clock that you see there. Thank you so much for coming to class for being a part of today's lesson. But until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you